Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little white beat or whatever. So yeah, we're, we're just gonna talk and such. Yeah, so let's get into it. So I moisturized and stuff and yeah. Gonna go in with the foundation. And I don't even know why this came in my mind today, but I was literally just, um, I was just going to class and I don't even know how this came in my mind, but it just kind of popped up and I was just thinking about like, I feel like this season for me is a season of feeling all the things. And I feel like that's the best way to describe it because honey, I'm feeling all the things, okay? Feeling all the things that you can feel. So, um, but I feel like that's also like, even though it's happening to me, it's also like, it's not cool. Oh, it's not a bad thing necessarily or not how I thought it was going to be a lot of reflection when you're feeling all the things you have a lot of reflection but yeah I feel like we're so busy not we but like I do this thing where I'm so busy doing um everything else or I use distractions so I don't feel all the things and like this I feel like this is like a summer thing for me like in the summer because like nothing's really like going on like that I literally feel all the things and it's time for me to like summer's almost like my um New Year's in a way because I get to feel and honestly reflect reflect on the semester and just reflect on me, my behavior as a person and stuff. And it's just literally just everything. Like it's like you know when you go and you all right, you know we had a conversation with somebody or you go into the conversation and you know what you're gonna say but you don't say it or like you think of things to say after the conversation it's really like what summer is summer is like very reflective for me if that makes any sense it's a very reflective time So I just like take in the year because it's it's almost like a it's like a pre New Year's reflection because it's like summer it's like June well for me it starts in June actually it starts in May if we're gonna be honest but it's like summer is like um it's just like a oh this is so annoying how this is like okay better. Summer is like a, um, like a back to the drawing board, how can we end the year strong kind of thing for me. So that's really cool, um, kind of, I guess. It's like a, I don't even know if it's just like that because I'm in college and like because I go back to school before the new year happens, so it's kind of like, alright, this these two best. Actually no, it's more a reflection of like spring semester than fall because you don't want to break for fall. Yeah, so it's like this past semester, what do I not like that happened? Or like what did I not like that I did? Or what can I improve upon? Stuff like that. What did I like that did happen? What did I like you know, stuff like that. But it's really like summer's like a summer is like a retreat, if I wanna be honest. And I didn't realize that until 
just in like freshman year somewhere when I started to really like realize that most of the work that I do is during the summer and like self-work, emotional work and building is during the summer. So that thing that happens. Um and also just like summer is literally when I feel all the things. I feel everything and it's a max because it's like a yeah, it's just amplified where everything that I like didn't want to deal with I'm dealing with now and stuff like that. But also, um I'm I'm also pretty bittersweet about this summer because I'm like I'm thinking about it now and I'm like, alright, I have summer because I'm in college and stuff like that. But like as an adult, like there's no summer. And that was like me because this time is time for recovery, reflection. I don't know why I feel compelled to like use another R word, but I'm not going to because I can't think of one right now. Um, but yeah. And I'm just like as an adult, like what? Like you take you can take vacations and stuff, but it's not summer. It's so weird how we take these things for granted when we're little. Oh, we have them. It's so weird. But yeah, I don't even know why. I was literally like driving this one, and I was just thinking about feeling all the feels, and I and I just was like, yeah, like dude, feel all the feels. Like that is a whole mood. To just feel everything because I don't feel like we give ourselves the opportunity to feel everything or we monitor how we feel and stuff like that so that's a thing um I don't know I just think I have like these random like morning thoughts and stuff like it's so like even though like even when I have thoughts I'm just like surprising myself because I'm like where did that come from like what made you think of that it's so weird but it, it's like my car is my baby and not even like oh it's my baby it's like it's like my safe space so it's my baby and it's like I'll be like driving I'm literally like in I have like three different car environments so I'll be like driving and like in the morning now I try to like listen to podcasts and stuff because I love music and stuff but I want to like I feel like podcasts are very beneficial and I really got into those lately um so yeah I try to listen into podcasts and like it's me waking up and also like me reflection and honestly though I don't I don't know like I feel like that's the only time that I have to and it's making me feel like I'm being productive because like it's not like when you're driving there's only so much you can do I pay attention to the road and stuff but it makes me feel like you know I'm doing something productive it's like going to the beach and reading a book kind of thing because you're you're going to the beach and you're relaxing but you're reading a book so you're being productive I don't even know if that makes sense but yeah but honestly it is so weird because I'll literally be like especially um now because there's traffic in my morning commute so I'll literally be there and I'm like yo I need to write this out so I'm gonna forget it because like taking mental notes is not it's not a thing like it's really not a thing so yeah so I started listening to podcasts this is and um it makes me very mindful of stuff and I learn things too it's like it's I don't know, I like it. I like podcasts. Like, I'm like, at first when I heard about podcasts, I was like, what? but I like podcasts. Um, especially the ones that I listen to are very, like, centering and mindful of, like, self care, stuff like that. But, um, what was I saying? I, yeah, so it's either I'm listening to podcasts, which is usually in the morning, and it's like me waking up, but it's also like, yeah it's it's like feeding it's food my soul that's what it is or um i'm like having a party in my car because <laughs> like, i swear other people like 
I just realized I'm the like not most non-boring driver ever because people really just be there like and I be listening to like music and I'm like just do like just get it like I don't know music is like very important to me because it just like it can change your mood it's just a lot of the music that I listen to literally can get me hyped in a minute and I don't care and it, it's funny because like my dad used to say when I was little that like he would go to parties and he would have to chase me around because I like danced like I would just like I would I would be like the last person dancing and this is probably me at like probably four or five years or whatever and like as I got older I got shy and now I'm like back to it when like a song comes on and I'm just like get it get it get it but yeah so like music really just like is a mood for me it is so it's either i'm doing that or i literally will just like turn the radio and everything off my car and i will just like drive in silence and it's just like whatever comes to my mind literally like conversations in my head not like even conversations with myself but just like conversations in my head like where i had this thing where i started thinking about feels like feeling all the things and stuff like that like they don't just come in i'm like what do you mean when you think that like <laughs> I'm, literally, I'm literally like interviewing myself i'm like what do you mean like i was, like i was thinking that and i was like feeling all the things like what things like what do you mean feeling all the things and i was just like feeling all the things doesn't matter because it's all encompassing because things it's all encompassing so it's not like feeling all the things it's like feeling everything feeling everything because i feel like especially recently i've been very not even i feel like there's i don't even know if it's like a saying saying what you're saying but it's like you like your body and i like my body and i don't mean i like my body in like a oh i like my body because i think my body looks nice it's like i like my body because it's my home my body is like it holds my spirit my essence and everything it's like a what's the word i can't think of this word it's like okay we're gonna say it's like a base for the meaning of who i am i can't think that's not the word i wanted to use but we're here it's a vase face and it allows for me to grow and it's there to it molds to my growth in a way basically but yeah so i was watching the netflix show the tidying up show and like every time she tidies up she'll be like yeah you gotta thank the home for protecting you and all of that and like that's what like that's how i see my body it's not necessarily it is a home but it's like armor my body's armor it protects me it's it it does so much for me it nourishes me and my soul like i feel like it was more recently where like my body is not i don't look at my body in the way that not all the time but like i'm beginning more and more to look at it as something else so it's like my body's not like a oh like my body aye, aye. it's like my body like it brings me peace it's just i don't even know it's like in the morning when i wake up there's like this ritual that i do i feel like now i'm very mindful of what i put on my body now still trying to work on what i'm putting into my body because my eating habits are actually trash and it's not like junk food wise we'll talk about that in like another video because there it was it was weird there are people in my life who have opinions on or people that have entered my life or passed through passed through my life that have, have had opinions on the way that I eat and stuff but um yeah so it's like even in the morning like I have this whole mornings are really like I want to start meditating 
or just like have quiet time i feel like in the future like when i have my own place or like just in the future i will like that'll be i'll have an area where i have my my like where i'll pray and i'll just like meditate and i can go like you know do all the things and feel all the things and stuff like that but in the morning i um i'll i take very like showering is really nice because the shower is also a safe space of mine because it's so like it's just i don't really think but it's like a labor of love to my body or it's like when i talk about i'm very mindful of what i put into my body I mean, onto my body. It's like okay, so like I, I've been using. I've been. I don't remember like when a year or past year or so. Um, I really continuously started using shea butter. I mean, I like my mom used it when I was little and stuff like that. But shea butter be getting the skin right. See, no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, so like I religiously started using shea butter, like nobody's business, and. Like black soap, I used it. Like nothing else, will, like get me as clean as I would desire. It's like the Dove commercial. You know the Dove commercial when they're like, oh, it sits like on your skin, like other soap sit on your skin or whatever. Like black soap. Ever since I use black soap, and I like, you know, I'll buy like one black soap, and then like I'll have to switch back and use something else until I can get my hands on another one. Um, if I use when I used other soaps and stuff, like I didn't feel as clean. Like I still felt like. Um, like there was still something sitting on my skin like it felt disgusting because like some people don't like it but it gets you a squeaky clean and um yeah it's great i love it it's great um but yeah so i like that and i like use it with shea butter and it's like a every morning i'm doing myself a little massage you know it's like a little spa thing where i'm just like i don't know when i'm using it when i'm like when i'm washing like with my um not rag i don't use a rag it's like a exfoliating sponge thing i don't know how to explain it because i i don't know how to like call it in english but like it's like a net and it's really good exfoliating and i use that with the black stuff and i feel like i'm really showing my body that i care about it and i appreciate what it does for me and in return i'm also returning the favor in a sense obviously not all of it but yeah and then like just seeing the shade butter just like melt into my skin and stuff like that like it's just so i don't know it's like a labor of love for me it's something that i enjoy and it makes me happy and i feel like it also is self-care in a way like a generic self-care well because i had to take a shower like how can you not shower but um it's like a I don't even know, it's, kind of, it's like a generic, like, not, I feel like it's like, people are like, oh, you know, you take a shower, that's what you're supposed to do, so it's not self-care. Also, who dictates what self-care is, to be honest? Self-care is whatever you want it to be. Because some people are like, oh, that's not self-care, and I'm just like, to me it is. Okay? Not everyone can do the whole, um, whatever you think self-care is. Self-care is whatever you decide it is. To be honest, because mind your business, that's why. But um it's like a it's like a me time thing. It's like a time that I reflect for my day. And it's because I wake up like kinda earlier than everyone in my house right now. Or like when I wake up, I'm usually the only one awake at that time in the house. So it's like um it's my quiet time where I can just like not even think because that's like what i do in the car but just like my quiet time where i can just reflect on nothingness but it's just that and i take pride in it also because it's i don't know i just do i take pride in it something i'm proud of and i don't care what anyone has to say about it 
But yeah, it's like a... I don't even know. I like that. Seeing, like, that view of just seeing my body with that. It's a home. And... I'm not saying, like, seeing it like that is going to change anyone's view of my body. But I also really believe in... Ooh, these brows. I have, like, either really good brow days or, like, trash brows. It's tragic. But I also believe in that you... You teach people how to teach you. And it's, um... It's... It's very accurate, I feel like. Like, what, not necessarily, it's like what you allow. And this is like to a certain extent, because there are situations where this does not apply. But it's like to a certain extent where like, if you allow certain behavior that like people will just be like, oh, like, they'll just get used to it and think that that's like, but if you don't, then it's like, people will follow suit. And not all the time, but it's, um, it, you should be that way. But, um, another thing is, so, like, my aunt came to visit, and she kept on, I, like, have horrible posture. It's not even funny, because I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like I don't like being tall I mean at this point what can I do about it but like I never like being tall because like in like up to like sixth grade I think I'd like was the tallest person in class like including all the boys I feel like I mentioned this before but I'm really scared of my height and it's until like now where I start even wearing heels because I'm just like I don't care them all like I can wear heels if I want to and stuff like that but yeah, so I have like horrible posture, like horrible posture. So she looked at me and she was like, she was like, why are you slouching? She was like, what did she say? She, <laughs> I'm laughing because I was just like really annoyed by it, but it made me cognizant and really realize that I do it. And now it's a thing where it's like, I'm not doing it, not doing it anymore. But she was like, she was like, head up, chin up, shoulders back. And like now, unfortunately, like, cause when she was here, she was here for like two days, but she was here and she kept on doing it and she kept saying it and saying it and saying it. And I was just like, oh, this is so annoying. But when she left, I catch myself like literally now, I'm just like head up, shoulders back. We're to the point now I'm like automatically just walking. And I was like with one of my friends and they were like, are you taller? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no. And it's because, like, my posture is that bad and I slouch that bad where it's like, oh, now, like, you can actually see that I, like, my actual height because I'm not slouching. But I was like, yeah, it's like a thing now where I'm just, like, um, just, like, doing it automatically and she's not here. And I'm just like, dang. Not dang. I mean, I'm appreciative of it because it is, like, I don't know. I feel, like, the way you carry yourself also treats, like, the way you carry yourself also tells people how to treat you. And I mean that if you're slouching, then like you're not as confident. People will feel those vibrations of you not being confident. Whereas if you're if you're walking in confident, then you're then people act accordingly. I saw this tweet where this guy was like he applied for a job that he didn't feel like he, he was qualified for, but he got the job anyway. You are qualified for the job, but you're shy and you're not like really confident in your abilities but you got the degrees or whatever you need the experience or whatever and someone who's not who isn't but they're confident in themselves and they talk their way in they're gonna get that job they're gonna get that opportunity because by 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 exuding that confidence or just that belief in yourself you're not only like you're persuading the person that you're qualified for the job even though you're not because it's like okay you're qualified but you're not you're not confident in your abilities or someone who's not qualified they can learn they can learn the skills needed for that job but you can't teach confidence you can't teach someone to be confident in who they are or um the the abilities that they have and such so it's like yeah but now i catch myself doing that and it's like 
it's different like I feel I feel different to say the least about it so shout out to my aunt thank you for that I should probably call her and tell her and be like yo still doing it um <laughs> but yeah it's you it's just I don't know it's just I'm really big on energy energies and um like my thing is if I meet somebody and I can already tell if we're gonna get along I can already tell if we're gonna get along I can already tell if you're but yeah another thing that I want to touch on is cultivating your own energy it's something I'm really big on right now especially because um, I feel like allowing the people that you allow in your life literally is a contributing factor into the energy that you put out into the world and that you will achieve. So, I'm not, <laughs> I'm taking that very serious when I realize that. Um, I mean, it's something that you kind of, like, a lot of these things I'm saying are not groundbreaking. It's things that you know, but it's not things that, like, you acknowledge as much. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, of course, if you have negative people around you, it's going to create, like, a negative atmosphere for you. But it's, like, a thing where it's like, okay, you know that, but are you putting that into action? Stuff like that. But, um, ooh. um, I need to stop patting my head, honestly. Yeah really important to me that I have a certain energy around me and that I myself put out a certain energy and I feel like my ideal energy would be one that's calming and healing because there are so many people out in the world that do need healing not like healing and like oh I'm gonna fix people but like in a way it's like when people are invited into my life or welcomed into my life it's like a thing where it's like all the stuff that hurt you or did you before does not matter in this space you are safe here like I want people to feel safe in my life 